What's up, everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight, I have another Let's Build video for you, this time for Bolt Action, uh, the 28mm World War II game by Warlord Games. It is the Blitzkrieg German Air 75mm League 18 Light Artillery. Uh, we'll see what's inside here. So we got the foam. Oh, dump them out there. All right, so we have a large base. That's for the light artillery. We have three individual bases to uh, count wounds on it. <clears throat> so they will go there. And this shouldn't be too terribly hard to uh, put together. We obviously have the, the main um, cradle for the weapon right here. It's pretty nice looking. Got some flash to cut off on this. Got this is the weapon. It's going to fit into the cradle and it has a gun shield. Just, look, just looks like that. And there we go. <clears throat> and we have some knobs and little things to uh, put onto it as well. The sights um, onto the weapon itself. Uh, so very easy kit. These are one piece miniatures, the loader, obviously the ammo, and another loader. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look at the tools first, uh, show you the tools first on uh, what I'm going to use to build this, and then I'll be back in a second to show you how it turned out. Back in a sec.
All right, there you have it. There's the Blitzkrieg German Ear 75mm League 18 light artillery for the game bolt action. Uh, a lot of little things I ended up having to do with this uh, this kit. Um, uh, it's it's got it's kind of bent here. Um, I'm leaving that there as if it got a shot uh, taken into it. It's going to be a little bit used and worn, like it's been in battle for a while. Um, I recommend putting on the the wheels first. Do not glue it to the base. Put the gun shield on, then put the weapon on. Uh, it was kind of squeezed tight on the inside right here, so I had to uh, take a pair of. Uh, my cutters and you can use it the opposite direction and pull it out to where it'll fit the uh, the actual uh, weapon itself will fit in the cradle in there and then you can squeeze it back gently uh, I squeezed a little bit hard too hard and kind of bent the metal there a little bit um, but I'm not too concerned about that I use tweezers to put this on and accelerator to put this this valve on um, in the warlord pictures they have this valve uh, a little bit in further. Um, I didn't cut off the end. I should have done that. Uh, make sure you do that. Um, but for the most part, your gentlemen here who are with the weapon um, on the individual bases, they're all one piece. So they'll glue on there just fine. Uh, there's nothing to uh, glue together with them. But um, as far as the light artillery piece, like I said, put the wheels on to the frame itself. Then put your gun shield on. Um, if you want to bend this out, you can. Um, I think it looks pretty cool that way. The wheels are kind of bent down as if it's been firing. And there's a suspension system underneath. Uh, your valve, use Instaset. Any kind of Instaset would work or accelerator. I use this uh, Instaset from Mark Twain Hobbies um, to set this piece here and this piece here. Um, but uh, there was two valves. I went ahead and just put on one because I can only uh, I, I, I could only see that there was one on this weapon. There might be two. I'm not sure if there is. You can leave it in the comments and let me know where it goes. Uh, but for the most part, um, this fits a purpose purpose for the for bolt action for sure. Um, just a early war. Uh, I believe it's like 1939 to 42 or 43, a light artillery piece for my early war Germans who are going to be fighting the Poland, uh, fighting Poland um, in my games later on. So, but a fairly easy kit. Uh, you just kind of got to look at the box art or the uh, studio art to kind of get an idea of where the pieces fit together. Um, and you should be able to figure it out uh, for the most part or by watching this video. Like I said, there's not a lot of pieces to it. It's just kind of fiddly, and you got to work with it a little bit. Uh, but other than that, it's a great piece, great addition to my Bolt Action Force. And uh, and that's it. Thanks for sticking with me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word for me. I'd really appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in the next video.